In the U.S., there's over 37,000 people that die on the roads every year. Pretty much every public agency we talk to, safety is one of their top priorities. Oftentimes, cities are really looking at crash data. But imagine if you had a world where you started to look beyond the point of where a crash actually happened, but the near misses. Data on those near misses is really considered like a holy grail in transportation planning. Ford's position as one of the largest car makers really gives us a unique perspective. We have millions of connected vehicles on the road today, and we're actively generating this data. Safety Insights is a really dynamic tool to help cities to really have a holistic view of safety. We allow them to move beyond just finding problems and actually looking at solutions and the predicted impact of those solutions before they invest a single dollar. But ultimately the goal is to save lives. Here is the Ford City Insights Studio. We're able to visualize all sorts of different elements, simulations, scenarios, data, and showcase a lot of different mobility projects that we have underway. My background originally is in urban planning. Essentially, you're looking at the systems of the built environment and figuring out how can those components work together more seamlessly. I am a mobility strategist with Ford Mobility. Safety is very important to the transportation network from every perspective, whether that's the person who is crossing the street, whether that's a bus, whether that's a scooter. We have to really look at safety, not just from the perspective of the person who's in the vehicle, but also everything else that's outside of the vehicle. And that's why Safety Insights is so important. We started the journey with Safety Insights really trying to understand how we could build a tool that would be really useful for cities to improve traffic safety. We were fortunate enough to be able to do kind of a pilot project with the city of Ann Arbor. This is a, a 3D um, model of downtown Ann Arbor in Michigan. And so from a Safety Insights perspective, the, the first thing we really start with is just looking at the crash data. So if I'm the city's transportation engineer, I'm looking at this uh, data and I'm trying to make sense of it. And that's where our hotspot algorithm within Safety Insights really comes in. So what we're doing is not just telling you where there's the most crashes, but instead what we're doing is we're looking at a model that generates which locations have the greatest difference between what we would expect and what actually has occurred there. Identifying hotspots is useful in itself. But the one thing that this doesn't tell you is where crashes are almost occurring. And that's where we see a lot of exciting opportunity with connected vehicle data. So vehicles that have an embedded cellular modem within them that's activated and that's capturing and transmitting data about what's happening as that vehicle moves around. We're able to understand patterns of which roads have more harsh braking, or excessive acceleration events, or traction control events, or lane departure, or forward collision warnings. There's all sorts of safety-related events that are maybe indicative of near misses. So in this case, we can take a look at harsh braking events across Ann Arbor. There's a number of locations that are bright red. They have a lot of harsh braking, uh, but they're not near hotspots, right? This can be really informative as a tool for foresight and looking into being more proactive and seeing, okay, something's emerging here. Maybe we want to make a change before it manifests in a lot of crashes. We didn't just want to combine data. We wanted to apply a layer of analytics on top of it to help our users make sense of all of that data. There's hundreds, uh, if not you know, thousands of different solutions that you may want to consider. Countermeasures could be changing the signal timing at an intersection, could be adding a pedestrian crosswalk, a protected bike lane. And so what we do is, through our tool, we actually allow our user to see what the predicted impact would be if they implemented any of these solutions at any particular location. So they can see what the predicted crash reduction would be and what that crash reduction would mean in terms of cost savings to society. We know safety is a priority, but just having the staff time and resources and the data all compiled and the methodology streamlined and automated, that's really a big hurdle. And so even if we're able to impact that in a small way, the impact would still be huge. Right now, we're at a stage where Safety Insights is available for cities today. Ford has an amazing number of employees who are beyond brilliant. 
but how do you think about matching that level of expertise to what's on the ground and what people actually need? As Ford makes this evolution into a mobility company, we have to understand safety for the transportation system as a whole and hopefully help to improve that. That's really been our focus. When we take a system-wide approach, we really start to see where some of those gaps are within the transit network and how Ford can step in to fill those gaps. To be able to be at a company like Ford to potentially play a, a transformative role in this large-scale problem is something that is incredibly exciting. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to Freethink Now for more great videos every week.